Okay, a couple things I like to think about here on this hip extension barn door, or the thrusting the barn door open, as I like to kind of call it, is that you want to have two distinct moves. One is the hip extension, and two is the barn door, or the opening of the upper body. I'll typically like to put the hip extension first, and lock that in place, and then take care of the upper body. But you can put it together as long as, for me, that I finish the hip extension. So I don't want to get this without finishing that. So for me, it's always a little bit more pop and then open up, but you can always put it together if you're able to do that. The other thing is that as you kind of come up, you want to think about opening up here, not there. So we're not doing a shoulder raise, it's more of an opening back. The kettlebells make for a great feedback tool as they rest on your arm and you have to pull back here. If you use dumbbells, sometimes you get a little bit confused about what you're doing with your arms. So the kettlebells, because of how they rack, give you great feedback on the opening up. You don't want to hold them back here. You don't want to hold them here. When they settle in that racked position, they set perfectly on your arms so you can really get the stimulus for here. Boom. Open up. You can do a couple in a row. You can take this split position. Just make sure you fire that back glute, lock yourself in place, grab the ground, and open up. When you switch, if you do switch, take your time, control it, pop and lock, strong, open up, back down, control. What you'll find is there's a lot of different ways to do it, a lot of things you can think about, but for me, those two concepts remain the same. Make sure you lock first and then open up. You take care of those two things, grip those kettlebells, really pull apart, not with the ribs, but with the back, shoulders, and arms, you'll get the most out of it. So enjoy.